it's me, Andrea Marie Hermoso, your host for today's video. And welcome to my YouTube channel! Uh. Charge of life. For our video is that I and my team are going to talk about gene therapy, cell therapy, what are the possible uses, and how they work, and we will further discuss explanation about it. Maybe you're asking, what are gene therapy and cell therapy? But before that, to answer your question, let's go to Shalimar Salty. A few moments later. So hi guys! Welcome to our vlog. It's Shalimar here, and today we are going to talk about gene therapy and cell therapy. So what is gene therapy? Gene therapy is an experimental technique that uses genes to treat or prevent diseases. These techniques are used in treating disorders by the insertion of a gene into a patient's cell instead of using drugs or surgery. Gene therapy can be used to modify cells in two ways. It may be inside or outside of the body. Wherein, when it is done internally, the doctors would inject the vector carrying the gene directly into the parts of the body that has affected cells. While if it is done externally, blood, bone marrow, or another tissue can be extracted from the patient, and these specific cells would be separated in the lab and are cultivated. Once the cells are already generated, these cells are then injected back into the patient's body in order to further multiply and carry out its desired function. So what is cell therapy? Cell therapy is a treatment with the use of cells, in which viable cells are injected, grafted, or implemented into a patient in order to effectuate medical effect. Cell therapy is applicable to some types of cancer and neurological diseases such as Parkinson's disease, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, spinal cord injuries, and diabetes. Thank you, Shalimar. So Shalimar said that cell therapy is a treatment with the use of cells. However, gene therapy is an experimental technique that uses genes to treat or prevent any disease. So maybe you're wondering, how does gene therapy work? So to answer that question, let's go to May Dorella Joy Sibulina. Thank you, Andrea. To further explain about gene therapy, we are going to discuss about how does gene therapy work. Gene therapy uses viral vectors to deliver genes into the cells to take the place of dysfunctional genes. Once inside the cell, the genetic material corrects the defected or missing protein function. Gene therapy uses DNA to change patient cell and repair problems that may cause disease. Thank you, Dorella. So gene therapy works very useful, right? So next is that what are some possible strategies being used in gene therapy? Let's proceed to Marian Zubarwa. Hey guys, it's me, Marian. So what are the strategies being used in gene therapy? Presently, there are a number of strategies that are mainly used in somatic cells, such as, first, gene addition. This is where we add functional copies of a gene to address the underlying genetic cause. Second, gene correction. It gives us the tools for both repairing and mutating DNA, for discovering gene functions, and for engineering new genetic variants. Third, gene silencing. It is the interruption or suppression of the expression of a gene at transcriptional or translational levels. Fourth is the reprogramming. And fifth is the cell elimination. That's all. Now, let's go back to Andrea. Later. So next, we are going to talk about the uses of gene therapy and the common types of cell therapy. So first, what are the uses of gene therapy? So the uses of gene therapy is that they replace missing or defective genes. They also deliver the genes that speed up the destruction of cancer cells and supply genes that cause cancer cells to revert back to normal cells. Gene therapy also delivers bacterial or viral genes as a form of vaccination, provide genes that promote or impede the growth of new tissue, and deliver genes that stimulate the healing of damaged tissue. Next is, what are the common types of cell therapy? So the most common type of cell therapy is blood transfusion and the transfusion of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets from a donor. So as you can see here, the CAR T cell therapy process, where it came from the manufacturing process to increase same patient with engineered T cells. Another common cell therapy is the transplantation of hematopoietic stem cell to create bone marrow, where in fact it has been performed for over 40 years. 
Very interesting, right? So during this pandemic, maybe you're wondering, how are viruses used in gene therapy? Or maybe, if there's a possibility that viral vectors can make you sick? To answer that question, let's proceed to Dorothy Minette Masculino. Well, that's a good question, Andrea. How are the viruses used in the gene therapy? Viruses are used in the gene therapy as gene delivery vector and oncolytic viruses. Viruses can be a gene delivery vector since they can deliver a new gene by infecting the cell. Oncolytic viruses. These viruses are naturally occurring in the environment. They can replicate and kill cancer cell without harming the normal tissues. Can vector make you sick? Although viral vectors are manipulated by the scientists to stop them from making you sick, we cannot avoid the risk of these vectors. Risk may include unwanted immune system reaction, the wrong cell may be targeted, and new gene may be inserted in the wrong place. Thank you, Dorothy. So that's our last topic for our video. Me and the rest of the team are hoping that you've learned a lot in our discussion. Thank you so much and have a nice day.